Apple, why make this dongle that you need for your cell phone so easy to lose? However, on my trip to Walmart to go pick up one of these, I ran into something that we're going to unbox today. $35 Vlogger Pro Kit, an entire rig for your cell phone, and uh, we're going to unbox it, test it out, and see is it worth the $35 that I paid for it. Let's get into it. Before we get into the video guys, I just want to say thank you for stopping by. My name is Cyrus and I'm here to improve the streaming experience not only for you, but also for your viewers. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell for notifications so you don't miss content like this. Check me out on Twitch, I stream three days a week, and join the Darkness Discord. We have a fantastic community where we talk about things like this that can level up your game and with all of that out of the way let's unbox this thing see what's inside and let's give it a test run all right so as i mentioned let's go ahead and see what's inside this box of the vlogger pro kit from bauer this is apparently something that walmart is promoting and kind of just pushing so let's go ahead and get inside this i'm going to have to open up some tape and i have a screwdriver not really the best thing all right uh i feel Things. I think it's in the box upside down, so we're going to turn it over and pull it out. And it looks like it's all neatly packaged inside this box. Let's see if there's anything else. It's like we have a kind of an information kit here from the Bauer Vlogger kit, kind of just saying a user manual. So let's go through each component and see exactly what we've got. So the big selling point here is the actual mount. This is the cage for your cell phone. Um, it has a lot of, it looks like, just like normal light stand attachments for tripods. I actually have a little handheld tripod right here and uh, it is just a normal threaded tripod, and uh, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. It does have a locking mechanism for the phone to attach in there, and it looks like it, looks like it supports some pretty large phones, uh, as well as it is spring action. I have a 10s Max, that's what we're gonna be working with today, and let's go ahead and see, obviously, yeah, obviously it's gonna support it, lock it in, and, uh, even grips handles on the sides. So that's pretty cool. It also looks like it includes three hot shoes on the top so that you can go ahead and connect uh, the two things they include, which are the microphone and the light. So that's really convenient as well as leaving you one that's open. So let's do look at piece number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next piece, which is the light. It's actually a really small light panel. Take a look at this really small light panel. It says 50 LEDs and it does look like that five row or five by 10. It has a normal thread on the bottom for you to be able to connect. I think they have just a cold shoe adapter here. If that will focus and we'll go ahead and screw in the cold shoe adapter. Obviously you can you know attach these however you want. It looks like we're gonna go ahead and plug in the cold shoe adapter here See if we can get it to where it'll be straight around, and it is. I haven't turned it on yet. I still don't have to see a power button. Oh, there is one here on the side. You have to actually hold down the power button on the side. A little small button, nothing really that you can, you know, kind of see on there. Small button on the side, the charging point, which is just a uh, micro USB. Uh, you just have to hold it for a good bit, and eventually it comes on. It's actually somewhat bright, I will say. So, like, my key light is hitting me now. And it is brighter than my key light, but obviously it's not diffused. You can't really tell each individual LED there. Um, but it does come with three different diffusions here, if I can pop them out. Looks like we have a blue, which is going to go, hopefully it'll maybe soften the light, maybe even make it closer to a cooler tone, a white, which I'm assuming keeps it around the Kelvin that it is, and then obviously something that's going to make it a little bit warmer. Let's just go ahead and put on the blue and let's see if we can make this a little bit, let's see, a, maybe a brighter of a Kelvin. So let's go ahead and turn it back on. Oh yeah, I can definitely tell it's a lot closer to um, daylight or cool white color. Now obviously these things pop off really easy. You can tell this is kind of daylight for the room. Um, simple diffusion to keep it that way. That's probably what I'm going to use. 
I run 5,500 Kelvin on my lights. And then we also have something that's gonna make it a little bit more warmer. That's actually really nice. That kind of really makes it orange. And I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna use that one, but we do have diffusion and we can obviously just hold the power button and it turns back off. Under the diffusion was actually the USB charging cable for that light for us to be able to use. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the next piece right here. We have, it looks like this is a Bluetooth. Yeah, this is a Bluetooth for controller for your phone to be able to take a picture as well as start recording your video. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I've actually never used one of these, so I'm curious to see how this well this pairs when we do our test in a moment. Actually, it says camera 360, the big button is says iOS, if I can get that to actually focus. It says iOS and the bottom one says Android, so apparently they receive two different inputs, something like that. So we'll see how that works and, and how that pairs. Uh, it looks like there's just a battery compartment in the back where it uses a small disc battery. If I can actually put the backpack on, that's good. And the one that I'm really interested in, which is actually what I was curious about picking up, was this Cold Shoe Shotgun Microphone. I looked at this because it was only $15 for the microphone plus a phone mount that goes on a tripod, which is really cool. Um, it's actually already, it's not falling apart, that's actually the battery compartment. So it looks like you have a battery compartment here if you're going to run it on a camera so that you can actually make sure it powers it uh, and they do supply i'm going to drop everything they do supply the battery to go inside uh, the microphone it is plastic most of this is all plastic as you would expect and the battery compartment for some reason does not want to stay closed so that's an interesting interesting thing all right let's go ahead and pull off the windshield looks like your typical kind of shotgun microphone uh, it's got openings on the side as well as, I'm assuming, the most of the receiver in the front. It does have a moment where you can remove it and see the sensor on the end. Uh, doesn't look like the best kind of diaphragm there and sensor, but we'll just have to see how that goes uh, when we use it and we test it out. So, shotgun mic, that's pretty much everything here. Obviously, this has a cold shoe mount on the bottom of it that's actually going to put it on the rig. So, I'm going to go ahead and assemble this kind of how you would use it. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick... This battery compartment on this does not want to stay together, so I do not see myself using this unless I tape that. Um, we'll go ahead and put on the microphone onto the rig. Pretty easy. It's all plastic compartments, or plastic pieces rather. That's on the light. I would sit it in the normal kind of center cold shoe or the hot shoe right here, but I'm actually going to put it off to uh, the side a little bit and just angle it in. We're going to tighten down that bottom cold shoe mount, keep it nice and tight. And, and that's pretty much it. Obviously, the camera is right here. That's coming out this way. Shotgun mic pointed towards your subject and the light. And I'm also going to use that dongle that I had to pick up while I was at Walmart. And we're going to use that to make sure we use the audio from this device. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over and let's see what the recording looks like from this phone. I'm going to record in 4K30 and it'll obviously downscale to 1080 when we export. So let's jump over to that and let's see what the quality looks like. And here it is, guys. This is the uncolor corrected, unaudio edited version of this rig right now. I have everything set up the way I showed you. The microphone is right up here and the light panel is just above where the camera is. And I have to say, I did a test recording and it was really amazing to hear the quality from that microphone and what little bit of light this panel is putting out is enough for the iPhone to at least go ahead and grab features on my face and not pixelate too much and add a lot of grain. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead and shift to a color corrected as well as an audio edited version of this to show you what it would look like if you were to put something like this on a YouTube channel. And we'll do that now. And here's what it would look like if you edited the video as well as the audio to put it in a situation that would go up on YouTube that maybe I would be okay with or maybe even you would be okay with. Uh, the Bluetooth remote I am using, and it actually paired really easily. Just turn on Bluetooth, click the remote from the available devices, and it works flawlessly. Uh, what I would say is my only con from this entire setup is the light. And it's just because I don't think it puts out enough light. I have that white diffuser panel on it right now to kind of just diffuse the light a little bit. 
and I feel like it doesn't put out a lot of light, especially since I record in a low light situation. But if you're recording during the daytime or you don't have as much light that, that I need to kind of push the recordings that I do, I don't think you're gonna have a problem putting this on top of your camera and getting really solid colors from your face, something that you're gonna be able to edit pretty easily. And so I guess when I look at something like this, that's $35. And when you look at the video comparison that you just saw, the question that you might have is, is it worth spending $35 on something like this when you can do all these other upgrades by a mirrorless camera like what this is, you know, run a microphone to a PC and, and do all that and get much better quality? Yeah, sure. But with this setup, you're taking the device that you have in your pocket, most people already have in their pocket, and for $35 getting a key light, a microphone, and a, a rig that you're able to go ahead and attach it to a tripod that you might have, or one of these things that you know you kind of get with random things, or even, I think they even have tripods there. So I guess the real question is, do I recommend this product, and is it something that I would push to my viewers? Well, the short answer is, yeah. I was really amazed, not only at the build quality, because, I mean, this is, this is pretty sturdy plastic on this rig, um, and the ability as at least me and, and what I have, I could really see myself even holding this with one hand. Uh, I don't feel like it's too much weight. Most of the weight actually is in the phone. So if you have a heavy phone, that's usually where the weight's going to come from. Everything else is pretty much plastic. Uh, so do I feel like this could be a very viable option to get people started on a YouTube channel with decent audio and a key light source that they can have shoot them in the face and it still be mobile for vlogging? Yeah, sure, it might a little, look a little awkward, but people run around with DSLR cameras on little goby mounts all the time. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be any different than that. So if I were to make an individual kind of recommendation for each piece, because each of these are sold individually at Walmart, um, the microphone, I actually do recommend the sound from it. It's actually, it's actually pretty good. Um, understand that it's a shotgun mic. It is a cheap capsule, but with a little bit of EQ and post, this actually turns out to be a very versatile microphone. And I was using it two feet away, you know, a decent distance and still getting a good solid sound sound from it uh, and the ability to apply this to a camera when you do upgrade you know this is something that can keep and stay with you through the upgrade process one thing I don't necessarily recommend is the light panel yes it's really nice to have that key light but it is kind of small and it doesn't put out a lot of light however as a part of this kit, it is more than enough light, especially if you play it out right and record during the daytime or you have a lot more lights on around you in the room. This is more than enough. But what I'd really recommend, I literally just dropped that battery spot on the side of this microphone. But what I really recommend is this cage. Not only does it have three hot shoe mounts on the top, but it has multiple, one, two, three, four, five spots where you can attach this to a tripod or even put other attachments onto this multi-mount. And this is probably where most of the money goes into this purchase is this mount right here and the versatility of this for future uses. I, I think that this kit in itself for $35 is amazing. Now, where can you pick up this kit? Obviously, I grabbed it at Walmart. I literally got it from the shelf for $35. And you might not be able to grab it at yours from the electronics section. So what I'm going to do is down in the description, I'm going to link different parts just like this for about the same price from Amazon. And if I can get the Walmart link, I'll go ahead and attach that so that you can see it. Otherwise, Go visit your local Walmart. If you're not in, a, in the US or you don't have a Walmart near you, check out this Amazon affiliate links. They do support the channel. And uh, yeah, I think that'll wrap up this review. So crazy vlogger thing approved by Cyrus. It's Cyrus approved. And with that out of the way, I'm Cyrus and welcome to the darkness. We'll catch you next time.